Today, I would like to show you how to cook one of my favorite Thai curries, yellow curry. Yellow curry is one of the three major kinds of Thai curry found in the west side of Thailand, usually richer and creamier than other Thai curries. The main ingredients are yellow curry paste, coconut milk, and chopped onions, potatoes, and boneless, skinless chicken thighs. A touch of palm sugar will be added depending on the sweetness of the coconut milk and fish sauce depending on the saltiness of the curry paste. Let's begin. In a large saucepan, heat half can of coconut milk in medium heat. Stir and mash the coconut pulp. When it shows some bubble, add 2 tablespoons of curry paste. Stir and mash the curry paste until it's fragrant and blended well in the coconut milk. My coconut milk tasted bland and the paste was so salty. So I added 2 tablespoons of palm sugar to cut off the spiciness and saltiness. Now prepare your chopped ingredients. You may place the potatoes in a bowl of cold water to prevent discoloring. You can substitute the chicken thighs to chicken breast, but I like the dark meat in my curry, so I used the chicken thighs. Cook the onions first until they soften, then gently stir in the chicken chunks for one minute, then add the chopped potatoes. Stir occasionally. This way, the curry sauce is well coated on the ingredients. Then put in the leftover coconut milk and one cup of water. Cover the lid and simmer until chicken is cooked through, about 10 minutes. Then, uncover the lid and bring to a gentle boil until slightly thickened and vegetables are tender. This will take about 10 minutes or more. You can see the coconut oil separated from the milk. If your curry tastes spicy or salty, add more palm sugar. If the curry tastes too sweet or bland, add soy sauce or fish sauce. When it's cooked, you can garnish with cashews or peanuts if desired. Yellow cashew chicken curry is cooked and ready to serve. Hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Bon appétit!